Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be, let me just get a bit more comfy, and Abercrombie and Fitch come shop with me today. Now, first off, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Matt. Welcome to my channel. Please take a moment to subscribe if you like and come shop with me like we're doing today. Too good to go bag, grocery haul, haul from everywhere that I've been to. I always do a haul from, if I bought something, you'll see it basically. Um, if you like that kind of video, it's free to do so. So please take a moment to subscribe. Just hit that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload. But as I said, today's video is going to be an Abercrombie. Come shop with me today. I was recently in Londinium. I was in London and I was filming lots of come shop with me around lots of different places. And I went into Abercrombie. I did not go into Hollister today, even though Abercrombie is now on Regent Street. If you didn't know, wake up. Hi. It has not been on Savile Row for all. Mm, I think it was during the pandemic it shut on Savile Row, which is like the end of an era. In terms of, I know that is the old Abercrombie it was associated with in terms of the Mike Jeffries era. And I'm not going to go into all of that, but if you don't know about that, watch the Netflix documentary it kind of goes into a lot of the whole history of that um I did used to back in the day I didn't I don't think I ever queued to get into Abercrombie but there was always a queue to get into Abercrombie um I always got there as soon not I don't know if it was as soon as it opened but I always used to be able to get a train this was back at school I used to be able to get a train into London that got to Abercrombie like roughly around when it opened so I used to be able to go in there without getting into a queue and buying whatever I needed to buy in there, aka £30 and £90-ish, £70 hoodies from there when I was like in school um, and I did buy the last like thing I think I bought in Abercrombie itself was while I was at uni when I went to New York um, as in before the new round of Abercrombie, I have bought stuff in there since. If you've not watched my Abercrombie and Fitch haul, I did do a haul from there this year when I did an online order to see what it was all about. But today we're going into the Abercrombie store on Regent Street, which I think I've only been in once before. Um, but it, um, I didn't film that, but it's like a whole, a whole new world. A whole new, yeah. Um, compared to the old Abercrombie store, it's completely 180. You can see it's bright and airy. It kind of looks like the a normal store, which I know it wasn't very inviting and things, but it was kind of an experience going to Abercrombie back in the day. It was dark, it was like crowded, it was like a dance, like a club. But yeah, without further ado, let's go look around to see what is in Abercrombie in the actual store on Regent Street um, to see what's new in for summer. So here we go into Abercrombie on Regent Street and here we go, this is how light and airy it is now in this store, um, which is the new wave of Abercrombie and we've got like patterned shirts and bits and bobs now, I'm sure you would never have seen that in the old Abercrombie, um, and trousers and polo shirts which we'll look a bit more in detail in a moment. Um, we have got this really nice selection of, well there's some light white shirts, I haven't got the moose on, um, so that is interesting, we wouldn't have had that before. Um, and we have got t-shirts and stuff in here which are really reasonably priced from 22 well I say reasonably you know reasonably from what they used to be they're 22 I would say that is still quite expensive the shirts and bits and bobs but it is aiming at a bit more luxury lots of like nice fashion designed stuff in here like open polo shirts and bits and bobs like that shorts I was actually I don't know if I was considering them but they were like a very short ish length and the polo shirts were a really good price as well look at all the different colors we have available and these were 52 pounds for the shorts um but this is what you see when you go into the store so we've got shorts with like drawstring waists elasticated waists and we've also got um lots of like open polo shirts and buttoned polo shirts as well so I was actually pleasantly surprised by some of the prices. This store was, I would say, the men's section in this store. I'm not sure if it is any bigger or smaller than uh, the one in Westfield, because we went to the one in Westfield recently, which I also went to Hollister in Westfield at the same time. And I think Abercrombie in Westfield is, is new. I think it's newer than this store, but it's still got a bit... It's not dark, dark at all, by any stretch of the imagination. It is not like it used to be, in terms of you had to find your way around with a torch but it is a bit 
moodier in the one in Westfield, whereas this one on Regent Street is like a bit bright and airy. But I was very pleasantly surprised by like the price of polo shirts. I'm sure I saw it. Price of some of them were like thirty-five pounds. I'm like back in the day that would have been sixty. Like prices in there have come down, and like t-shirts like twenty-two. You would never have been able to get a t-shirt in Abercrombie and Fitch under thirty pounds. Back in the day on the in the Savile Row shop, you literally would never be able to do that. So it's really good that the prices have come down. Um, and I think the quality has stayed the same in terms of the stuff I bought on the Abercrombie website in the beginning of the year, which I am wearing the shorts. I'm not wearing the shorts today. I'm actually wearing Hollister sweatpants shorts today, but I bought some two lots of sweatpants shorts on Abercrombie. And I think the quality is still there, but they were like £10 in the sale. I mean, we were never able to even access sale stuff in it, the UK back in the day for Abercrombie. Um, and now we've got an Abercrombie outlet in Ashford. So it's all like swings and roundabouts. And I did go in an Abercrombie outlet in New York back in the day. And like that was first 10 years ago, um, April 10 years ago. So there we are. And I did buy a few things in there. Actually, these shorts that I'm wearing are from, which are Hollister shorts, which are just like sweatpants shorts, so I just wear them rounding, round around the house. They were like six dollars or six pounds or something ridiculously cheap. Um, they're like the equivalent of six pounds back in the day. I should have bought like ten pairs of these and my mum said you should have bought loads of those because, I mean, these have lasted me really well. The last, the other Hollister shorts that I had that had Back in the day, I had sweatpants shorts from Hollister and it literally had Hollister in big bold written on the side. And I remember at sports day once at school, I wore those shorts and then an Abercrombie and Fitch t-shirt. I don't know who I thought I was, but yeah, um, that was a big tangent. But yeah, they I was pleasantly surprised and it was quite more, there was a lot less stuff. Like back in the day, you would have had the moose on everything and Abercrombie written on everything, but there was more fashion orientated things like you had like pattern shirts and stuff like that and like all the trend of like the open collar v-neck and stuff like that and knitted things all of that was in there um but they did also have a little bit of you know like Abercrombie merch practically where it says like Abercrombie and Fitch on you but I was very pleasantly surprised the only pricing I can see remember in my head is the price of those polo shirts and like a really nice they had a really nice like sagey greeny pistachio minty colour one and they were like £35 so I was very pleasantly surprised by those um but yes let me know your thoughts down below have you been into an Abercrombie store recently have you bought anything in the Abercrombie in Abercrombie um I I think there's now an Abercrombie in Edinburgh as well so there are a few more stores in the UK because I know there's one in Manchester one on Regent Street one in Battersea Power Station one at Westfield so there is a lot around um so let me know your thoughts down below have you been into this like new wave of Abercrombie in the UK what if you're in America let me know what it's like in America have many of the stores been remodeled or anything like that to make it like more bright and airy or are they still stuck in the like Mike Jeffries era of the past let me know down below if you're not already please take a moment to subscribe it's free there's no cost to you for doing so just click that button down below ring my bell to be notified of when I upload I do at the moment, I'm doing three times a week, so you'll definitely want to make sure you're subscribed for those videos. Um, yeah, it's free to do so, so just click that button down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.